coming to our salon, to you, or to any salon, um, what are you seeing for um, trends or things that um, people can do to to um, get that sexy back? Okay, well, I would say that if you have had the same hairdo for a while, talk to your stylist. Um, I think there are a lot of trends. It's it's no bangs, yes bangs, no bangs, um, yes fringe, blunt cuts. It's it's there's so many things that change and keep changing that it's hard to really keep up with it. I haven't really seen I know the trends are out there but I haven't really seen any major trends like the Dorothy Hamill or the the mullet or anything like that that was so popular all at once um what I have felt like in the last number of years now it's whatever suits you and your lifestyle and your hair uh texture your face shape um you want something, and what I'm seeing, most of my clients want something that's easy for them to do at home. So when I style it and they go home and style it, it looks the same. Rather than, you know, looking better when I do it and they get home and can't do it. So, and, and, I, and I hear that a lot. That's what people want. They want, I mean, yes, we should be able to do it a little bit better because we're professionals and our arms aren't attached to their bodies. That's what I always tell them. That's why I can do it better. So I'm teaching you how to do it. So, and I do see a lot of people that are, are, you know, they get cuts that suit their hair to make it easy. So they don't have to mess with it a, little, a lot. Um, so as far as trends, a lot of, tr- I know they have them and I know they're out there, but I haven't, I don't do like super trendy stuff. I'll inject a little bit of this and that, you know, depending on the person and their personality. So I kind of, stick to that a little more you know if somebody brings a picture and they want it and it can work on their hair and all that then yes we can do it otherwise i just have to be honest and say that's not going to work um but a different version of that may and and try to work with people so i guess what i would say is if you um you know just switch up your style every now and again it could just be the way you blow it out or if you have curly hair or straight hair or mix it up or whatever, go back and forth. Mm. Awesome. Color. Color is always good. Mm. Add a little bit here and there, you know. So. Good stuff. So they're looking good, not only when they leave you, but they can look good on other days too. Oh, they don't really yeah. Need to, they have that. It's a cut that's going to last and they can create it at home. That's a great joy for me. That That's my feedback of, is when they come in four to six weeks later and, and I'm looking at them and they look great. Mm. It's like when I can actually say, what are you doing here? Your hair looks great. You don't need to be here. Why are you here? Well, I need it, I need it trimmed. But they're doing it at home. So they, they've done it and they're showing me that, yeah, it looks good. So it looks good when I'm not doing it, when they're doing it. You know, yeah, that's important to me. It makes me realize that I'm doing my job the way it should be done. Mm.